Hi, this is Jim from Sonodrome. I want to show you a program I've created which generates sine wave tables. So this is useful if you're doing wavetable synthesis or direct digital synthesis, which I've been doing recently using microcontrollers. And I wanted an easy way of generating different wavetables of uh, various different lengths and various different depths. So I've created SWTG, which is available on GitHub. And if you go to the page, you can just download the project. Um, so it's available as a zip file if you wish, or uh, feel free to clone it. Uh, so once you've downloaded it, you need to compile it for your system. So I'm just going to unzip this file. And if you just open terminal and change directory to the SWTG folder. And once you're in there, if you just type the command make, and that, as you can see, has generated another file called SWTG, which is an executable file um, for your system. So if I just double click on that, it brings up a text interface. And I'll show you how to generate a basic wavetable. So I'm going to have a wavetable that it has eight values in it, and it has a depth of eight values as well. And I want that in array format. So you can see here, it generates a nice little array here that you can easily copy and paste into your code. Everything's separated by uh, commas, and there's curly brackets on the end. Or alternatively, you can generate a list of values as well which is quite useful for things like spreadsheets. So let's say I want a length of 128 samples with a depth of 128. And I say no to array format, and that will give me a list. So if I just uh, click and shift click, and then copy all those values, and then I can open something like Excel and just paste those values into the first cell. And then I can create a chart. And you can see, I'll just make that a bit bigger. There you go. And then you can see all the values in the wavetable. Um, yeah, so you might find that useful. Uh, thank you very much. Bye bye.